Hallelujah. You know, some of our people are getting used to celebrations like this in the church. When I was growing up, it's only the Adej B that used to do this kind of like that. You don't do that in church. Dance in church. What is that? My grandmother would roll in her grave right now. Hallelujah. But we're still doing it decently and in order. Amen. Hallelujah. How many of us have come from that background that you don't clap in church, you don't make noise in church. You worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. But you dance on Friday night, Saturday night, till 5 a.m. in the morning. Make sure you get home, brush your teeth, wash your face, and show up in church like a sanctified saint. Somebody say, the Lord forgive me. If you don't dance in church, say, the Lord forgive me. Because, you know, I, I, I observed something just now. Somebody say, Big Brother is not watching. Talk now, talk to your neighbor. We're in church, we talk. This is family. Say, Big Brother is not watching. Say, God is watching. Uh -huh. So those of you that don't dance in church, but when you get to parties, you get down. Get down. Huh? Repent. Amen. We praise God with our dance. This is not a day job business. This is God's business. We praise Him with our dance. You, you know, these days you can't find what you find in the church anywhere else. We've got the best of the best on the drops. Put your hands together for Brother Mikhail. Hallelujah. Amen. And put your hands together for Brother Michael and the keyboard. Amen. Hallelujah. So we come in and we have family time. Uh, they're not talking again. Okay. I, I hope I'm not breaking a lot of protocols here today. But in church, we need to talk to one another. Families, we talk to one another. Um, I have another assignment. Um, I think I have very long assignments here today, Pastor Silvanus. But the Lord will help me. Pray for me as I do this next assignment. And by the time I start, you would understand why I need your prayers. I don't just need your prayers, I also need your support. Amen. Before I declare what I'm about to do, time is not on our side, but I want you to please take your Bibles with me and let's go to Exodus. Don't leave me, Brother Michael. Exodus chapter 35, and I'm going to read a few scriptures there, or a few verses there. I'm going to skip through them, but I'll do it really quickly. Hallelujah. Somebody say no pressure. No pressure. Okay. Exodus chapter 35 and verse 5 says, Take from among your contribution to the Lord, whoever is of a generous heart, let him bring the Lord's contribution, gold, silver, and bronze, blue and purple, scarlet yarns, and fine twinning lining, goat's hair, tanned ram skin, and goat skins, acacia wood, oil of light, spices of anointing oil, and for the fragrance incense, and onyx stones, and stones for setting, for the effort and for the breastplate. Let every skillful craftsman among you come and make all that the Lord has commanded. Somebody say, commanded. Let's go to verse 20 of the same chapter, please. If you can help us with that child outside, I'd appreciate that, please. Verse 20 says, Then all the congregation, somebody say, that's me, of the people of Israel departed from the presence of Moses. And they came, somebody say, they came. And everyone whose heart was stirred up, or whose heart stirred him, and everyone whose spirit moved him 
and brought the Lord's contribution to be used for the tent of meeting and for all its service and for the holy garment. And they came, both men and women, all who were of a willing heart, brought brooches and earrings and signet rings and armlets, all sorts of gold objects, every man dedicating an offering of gold to the Lord. I'll read verse 24 and verse 29, and I'll finish that. Verse 24 says, everyone who could make a contribution of silver, everyone who could make a contribution of silver or bronze brought it as the Lord's contribution. And everyone who possessed acacia wood of any use in the work brought it. And verse 29 says, and all the men and women, the people of Israel, whose heart moved them to bring anything for the work that the Lord had commanded by Moses to be done, brought it as a free will of free to the Lord. I've read the scripture for us to know that what we do in church is a need. It is what God requires of us. A lot of times we, we mama and they do church for money business. They don't come back for the money. Can we please take that baby outside? I'd really appreciate that. Thank you very much. The Lord commanded Moses to ask of substance of the children of Israel. And in that same scripture, we could see that it was for the building of the tabernacle. These walls cannot produce. If you leave them 200 years, they'll come back and leave these walls where you left them, probably with dust. Probably would have deteriorated. I've got men of God here, so if I say something wrong, I'm sure I will be corrected. But the reason why God allowed the children of Israel to leave Egypt with substance was because he had need of it. Is that, is that right there? And so the children of Israel left Egypt and cleared of everything because he had need of it ahead. Amen. And there's a need in this ministry and I'm here to carry on that task. But somebody say, no pressure. Okay. I really want to thank God for what God has been doing in this church through Pastor Sylvanus and through every single committed member and everyone that has supported him, supported the work of God in one time or the other. But somebody said we're moving to the next level. So they are moving to the next level. And I want to be a part of it. And I have an assignment for us to raise 5,000 pounds. 5,000 pounds for the next building, right? We need to move. We need money. We need your support. And I only need 100, 50 people, sorry. Maybe we could do it 100 people. I need 50 people that will take a slip from me and do it as a promise note to say, by the end of March, I would make a donation of a hundred pounds to the building fund. Now, if we have somebody here that can give us that 5,000 pounds, I would love you to stand up and come to the front. Somebody said, that's me now. Oh my God. So you preach faith and you don't believe faith? Are you one of those people, you preach faith, you don't believe it? 
Okay, maybe you have 2,500. Or maybe you have 1,000 pounds. I know we have able people here. But we don't want to push you that far. We just need 50 people that would say at the end of March. Now between now and the end of March, all you need to save is about 20 pounds a week. Let me start breaking it down for you in your minds. So you see that it's not that difficult. It's really not that difficult. And some of us have got 50 pounds in our pockets right now that you can say, you know what, I'll just close my eyes and just do it. And then they wouldn't come after me after that. But we just need 50 people, 50, that would commit to just 100 pounds. Thank you, Evangelist. Thank you. Thank you. Please put your name and the amount, just in case you want to do more than that. And your telephone number. Three. Oh, I love this people. Four. Five. Thank you, sir. Six. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Seven. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Eight. Thank you, sir. Nine. 13. Thank you, sir. 14. Somebody's giving us the 100 pounds already. Check, please write it to GCIM. 
If you have a checkbook, you can still make it post-dated so you don't go home with a checkbook. But if you have a check, please write it, make it post-dated. As long as it doesn't bounce on us, we would appreciate it in Jesus' name. Amen. And please, I would appreciate that. Can you write your name and write your number? Write your name, write your number. Amen. And please bring those slips to the front. I'm going to ask that Pastor Sylvanus, hallelujah, that you will keep these people in your prayer, man of God. Keep them in your prayer. Amen. Keep them in your prayer. That as your name is brought forward, hallelujah, to build the house of God. Amen. The Bible says that your name is engraved in the palm of his hands. And his walls and your walls are continually before him. Amen. You will not struggle in life in Jesus' name. Oh, I'm saying a prayer for you and you're not saying amen. You will not struggle in life. Money would look for you. The Lord will supply all your needs. Oh, your amen is not helping me. It will supply all your needs. All your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. As you have come forward, men will stand by you. In the name of Jesus, people will not forget you at the point of your need. In the name of Jesus, please bring those slips forward in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. As you honor the, 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 the work of the Lord, God will honor you. God will cause men to honor you. In the name of Jesus, your projects will be successful. They will finish to the end. In the name of Jesus, your hands will never run dry. I declare it over your life. Your hands will never run dry. You will be the one that will support the work of God single-handedly. You will finance the work of the Lord. 